Hi. I'm B. Bagby, manager of the Media Geeks here at Virginia Western Community College. Now, you may be wondering why it looks like I'm carrying around a camera in my hand walking to where we're going. And uh, I'm kind of wondering the same thing. I mean, you'd think as the manager of the group that does all the videos, I'd have a little pool with my own department. But it appears that they're all too busy working on projects of their own right now to actually work on my project. So I'm going to have to do it myself. If you get seasick, now would be the time to try to uh, take a little something for that. So we're going to head down to a classroom, and I'm going to show you some of the technology in the room. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we do here. See, the head media geeks are in charge of a lot of things around this campus, and they don't always seem completely interconnected. One of the things that we do is manage the classrooms, and I'll show you that. We also take care of the streaming servers, we take care of the lecture capture servers, we take care of uh, a lot of the cloud-based services. Uh, we use things like Dropbox and Google Sites and Google Documents. We do a lot with Facebook and Google Plus and uh, all kinds of online services. We're also here to help you with uh, developing content for yourself. You may find us taking care of things like video conference rooms and uh, various technologies for presentation. So uh, the list is really long. It would be hard for me to cover it all. But that's a, that's a pretty brief overview. Okay, so here we are in the classroom. And uh, I'm go ahead and find the key and let us in. So this is a pretty typical classroom here on campus. What I want to do is I want to show you some of the technology that you can find here. Here we go. Come on, huh? So this is one of our podiums. Now, a few things about this podium. The first is you'll notice the keyboard is not on the desk. Now, to get to the keyboard, you just have to reach down in here, open that up, and there's the keyboard. Another thing you need is the document camera to get to that. Just reach down here, give this handle a twist, gently, slowly pull it out. You'll find one of several different kinds of document camera here. Just lift this up. Now over here, you're going to see a few things on the desktop. Depending on which room you're in, all the rooms are going to have one of these. This is the IPVO camera. This is a little document camera that people seem to really like. You can move it, twist it, spin it, and it'll work with the software on your computer. The other thing you'll find is this light right here, and the switch for this light is right here. That lets you get a little light on the uh, top here if you need to turn off the lights to see the projector. Also does a really good job of lighting anything that you put underneath that camera. Another thing you're going to see is if you're in one of the rooms with a touch panel, it'll just be a black panel, it'll either look like this with the buttons on the side or no buttons. Either way, you just touch the screen. The first thing that's going to happen is it's going to power up the projector and uh, be ready for your computer input. Turn on the computer, usually you'll find that right down here. Small computers, or sometimes you'll see a tall computer there, just push the power button and you'll see that start up. All of our monitors are now on stands if you're in an electronic classroom. You can see that stand right there. What that lets you do is that lets you move this monitor to give yourself more space. So you can move it up and down. You know, whatever makes it most comfortable for you. You'll also see in the room a couple of different things. If you're in an electric capture room that has the new pan tilt zoom cameras, you'll see those right here. If you're in a room with one of the older ones, you'll see a small black camera on the ceiling. It uh, does the same thing as far as being able to capture your image at the front of the screen. It just doesn't pan and tilt and zoom for you. So that's a really brief overview of the electronic classroom. Now I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do on the computer. Alright, so we're here back at my desk so I can show you some of the things online. I'm going to run you through a few things, and uh, hopefully if you've got any questions, I'll show you how to get in touch with us. Okay, so here we are at the Media Geek's unofficial website. Uh, that's not to be confused with the Virginia Western official website. Uh, Media Geeks maintain an unofficial site because there's a lot of stuff that we like to do that's just outside of the norm enough that we don't want to confuse people. So of course in your first meeting here we're going to try to confuse you by sending you to our unofficial site. This is the place where we try to do things that are kind of on the fringe or the cutting edge of uh, the support that we're providing here on campus. So this is a Google site. Uh, any professor can uh, create a Google site. Um, they're all provided through your BCCS Google account. 
Um, and what we've done is we've created just a really easy site here for some of the stuff that we like to do. Here you can see our team. Uh, that guy in the middle there is uh, actually not in our team per se. We keep asking him to deliver stuff around campus, but he never seems to return our calls when we ask him to do work. That's Dr. Sandal. But the rest of these guys, they're all part of our team. That's Joe and Dave and Jason and Jake and Sammy and B. Sam's our student worker. All right, so a few things about this page. This is uh, where we tell you a little bit about what we do. Uh, again, the list is so long, we could never do it all, but it does kind of cover the basics of what we do. It'll tell you where we are, but uh, if you're sitting in a room right now watching this, you hopefully already know where we are, because this is just showing you the campus, not our office. So, here's a really important one, our updates from Twitter. What we do is we post to Facebook and Twitter on a fairly regular basis. Um, if you're using Lecture Capture, we also have our Lecture Capture server alerting Twitter, so you can always tell by going out here if the Lecture Capture server is up or down. As you can see, we were doing some testing on the 11th, and so it went down for about five minutes, and then below that you can see a few of our posts that have come across over the last few days. Over here on the uh, left-hand side of the screen, we've got the Media Geek hosted events calendar. We'll talk about that a little bit. Some quick communications if you need to get a hold of us by email, by Facebook, through Twitter, or if you want to watch our YouTube channel. Right here we provide a, a few links that uh, we think are important. There's the Panopto documentation. Now, of course, you've probably either talked to the help desk or to distance learning a little bit about lecture capture already. If you haven't, they will be talking to you. Below that is classroom technology. This is where you can get information about the classrooms. You can see the lectern that we just showed you. And um, you can also find this great list right here of room descriptions. And what we try to do is we try to go through the campus and list all the rooms that have technology in them, tell you whether or not they're Panopto ready, meaning they're ready to do lecture capture right in the room, and whether or not they're multimedia capable, meaning they have a computer, an uh, internet connection, a projector, maybe a document camera, that sort of thing. And then we've taken our best guesses to the room type and seat count to kind of give you a little extra information. Now, please don't think that these are exactly accurate. It's a great reference, but before you teach your first class, be sure to go to that class and uh, check to make sure that it's accurate. You don't want to get in there and, and be surprised. We have a photo gallery here. Here's where we post just a few little pictures. It's mostly just fluff, us when we take trips, some of the things that we've done, and some of the technology here on campus. We have a links page where we try to list a lot of the links that we reference on a regular basis. Now, not all of these are directly supported by Virginia Western. This is really more of the Media Geeks set of links. We can tell you about them, we can tell you what we've done with them, and whether or not you actually can use them here on campus or if you should just use them from home. But we have a fairly long list. We're always adding more and we love to hear from you. If there are great things that are related to teaching or doing your job that you think we should be sharing with others, Please, by all means, let us know. We'd love to review them, add them to this. On this page is the Media Geeks events. Come on out there and visit us. We try to post a few things that we do each semester. Uh, you'll notice that every Tuesday we're going to be doing a TED Talk. If you've never seen the TED Talks, TED Talks are great. They're usually 7 to 10 minutes long. They're about every subject under the sun. They're not just technology talks. We'll be posting about a week in advance what TED Talk we'll be watching. It's a great thing to come join us, get to know the media geeks, get to know some of the other folks on campus, watch a really inspirational talk, and then just sit and talk about what we're doing on campus, how the subject on TED Talk may apply to us or not. Um, it's just a good time. You said it's about a 10-minute talk. We break out about an hour's worth of just sitting and conversing. There's no agenda. Bring your lunch. Very informal. Come and go as you please. The other thing we'll be doing is starting in September, you know, we're going to start doing a technology update, a technology roundtable. Uh, that'll be on Thursdays. Again, this is not an official committee. This is a come and go as you please, bring your lunch. It's a chance for us to sit down. Primarily this semester we're going to be talking about mobile technology, particularly the iPad. A lot of people are using the iPad. We'd like to sit down, talk about what applications people are using and what they're doing and not doing, what's working and what's not working. Last but not least, head on over to our YouTube site when you have a few minutes to kill. Our YouTube site is where we post a lot of things. We post a lot of good training information. This is where our short trainings, our one-minute wonders go, uh, which is typically where we'll take about a minute to tell you about something that we think is important. We'll tell you about some of our favorite apps. Uh, we'll post recruitment videos, campus safety videos, anything that the media geeks are working on that's for public dissemination. We'll also try to throw some stuff up there to keep you amused. Um, if we don't make you laugh at least a couple of times a semester, we don't think we've been doing our job, so we try real hard to do that. 
And I want to leave you with one last thought. If you need to get a hold of us, you've got a problem in any room at any time during the regular hours, please get in touch with us immediately. The easiest way to do that is to go through the help desk, and that's the last message I'm going to leave you with today. Welcome to the Virginia Western Community College Media Geeks One Minute Wonder. I'm Andrew Williams. Did you ever wonder how to get help in a classroom? <sighs> Call the help desk, 77354. IT services, this is Dick, can I help you? I can't get the AV to work. I really need help. That sounds like a job for the media geeks. Media geeks, what's the problem? Media geeks, we've got a code red in Weber 217. We're on our way. <laughs>